In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some transform methods or units as they called in Bolt. So the units are look at, and then these three forward, right, and up. They're all similar, but it's just a different uh, direction that they look at. So right now the scene setup is that these three players have this script on it. And this right here is the target and I can move the target with my mouse. So if I click play now, all these players are going to look at the target. So I have a blue player, red player and a 2D player right here. So you can see what happens if you use a look at in 2D games. So if I move the target around, you can see that they're following it. So this is how the look at works. And if I move the target in the Z direction, they'll also follow it. So that works pretty good in 3D games, but in 2D, it's not really working that great. So the other options that we have are these three right here, set forward, set right and set up. And into these units, you can pass in the directional vectors. So how to calculate a directional vector, you can get the position of the target and subtract the position of the player. That's going to give you a directional vector. So if I switch right now from using that to set forward, you'll notice that there's absolutely no change at all. So the look at is using the set forward and it's doing the calculation for the direction vector. But let's try the other one. So let's use set right right now. And you can see now that's something we can use in the 2D game. The side of the sprite is following the target. So that's set right and then set up is just using the up, which is Y position to follow the target. So that is pretty cool. By setting this direction vector, you can see that the calculation for the rotation is done and you don't have to do the math calculations for tangents and stuff like that. Unity handles that for you. So whenever you want to rotate something that will be facing from one point to another, you can use both of those points to calculate the direction vector and use that direction vector to rotate the object that you want by setting forward, right or up, whichever end of the object you actually want to point to that direction. I was making another tutorial part for Among Us game and the idea for this tutorial came up, so I decided to make it. If you want to see the Among Us tutorial that I made, there's a link in the description and you can subscribe for the channel if you want to get notified when I release the next one. If you liked the video, click on the like button and I'll see you in the next video.